Okay, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So I'm David, David Rodriguez. Uh, I'm the CTO at Interequia and also, well, Azure MVP and lucky of me since uh, April this year. Also Microsoft Regional Director, so that is uh, something that Microsoft uh, recognized uh, some people, you know, that you know, continues uh, working with the community uh, and in fact, uh, not, uh, in the case of Regional Director, not only in the community but also in the business side of the, of the things, right? So that means that if uh, you have any, also uh, anything that you have to, to manage with Microsoft, uh, you know, uh, at, at some level, uh, I'm happy to here to also to collaborate and just to to lift on open, uh, just to indicate which which would be the, the right people you know to to talk about and to talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. And in fact, he is uh, in the other room doing the session. So, <laughs> no thanks. So um, it's also also known um, by the uh, because I have been working over the latest, uh, I have to say, since 2011 as the cloud team uh, lead engineer at Dinian Corp until the, well, until the acquisition, right? So, so I have been working since, until December uh, last year. So I have been also building, uh, you know, I'm managing the, uh, how the, the evoke in the cloud or that evoke in demand uh, solution that uh, we build um, for our customers. Customers that are happy and uh, still using, uh, using it, right? So. Uh, say that, of course, thank you to all the sponsors. Yeah, without their help, we could not even uh, take the coffee that uh, make us, you know, now more more happy, right? <laughs> Just for a session after lunch. So, okay, this session is about building the intelligent apps of the future. Okay, that can be a little bit uh, pretentious, right? So, so because of that, let's say, just building the intelligent apps of the this year or the next year, okay? So, because we don't know what will happen, okay? We can see that uh, in the latest 10 years, more or less, but there has been a super tech revolution, okay? Where a lot of technology, uh, technologies have emerged. Think that this, uh, this uh, window is just in 10 years, okay? Has happened in 10 years. So in 10 years, mostly all the people were on premises, okay? There was no public cloud at all. Amazon was starting, you know, to some over there. In 2010, when uh, Microsoft started with Azure, for example. So everyone was on-premise, of course. Oh, the, the, the most advantageous, uh, advantageous ones were using virtualization just to, to, uh, to be more cost-effective on, uh, you know, on-premises. And each technology of this one was the, pre the predecessor, predecessor of the next one, okay? So virtualization was the one that allowed to to, uh, to make the, the public cloud thing possible, okay? With no virtualization, no cloud will exist today. And of course, when you, uh, you go with uh, you know, uh, the cloud economics and put, and, uh, <coughs> instead of buying uh, one server that can cost you to you, for example, on premises, one, uh, 5,000 euros, okay? You uh, buy, for example, 100,000 servers, the cost per server is just, you know, uh, two or 300 uh, euros. So that, that means that that is the cloud economics thing that makes things big. And that, of course, is, the, what ha, uh, is that made possible the next step, that is what's big data, okay? So making the storage so cheap was the principal factor, okay, of uh, uh, emerging the, the big data thing. So, okay, so then big data, that's fine. So now that we have uh, a lot of space and cheap, so we need to, to put um, data there. And these guys know a uh, thing that, uh, that is true, that is the data has gravity. Gravity is, uh, is because, okay, if uh, you notice that on every, in Amazon and in Azure, the upload, okay, to data centers is for free, is when you need to, to pull the data from, from the cloud, is, okay, when they are built. So these guys are not, <laughs> not silly guys, right? So then, okay, if we need, uh, okay, so big data, how we can fill and put a lot of data in the cloud? Okay, IoT and the edge. Let's put, you know, a lot of, uh, for example, sensors or everywhere and just send, start sending data to, to, you know, to the cloud and start sending and sending and sending and sending more and more data. Somebody will like, <laughs> and pull that data at some point, right? So that is uh, technology after technology and the last two ones, for example, was just uh, already talking about serverless technologies like um, Docker or just 
lambda or actual functions, okay, has been just to uh, like the second okay iteration of, of computing, okay, where it's not about virtualization, uh, virtualizing machines at all. It's just also to uh, virtualizing the applications, uh, virtualizing the code, okay, running the, the uh, and paying just for the the number of seconds that your function is running, right? And at the end, everybody's talking about this uh, this these days, okay about machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence. And this is what we will try to, to see something here today, OK? Artificial intelligence and DNA. So uh, say that, uh, if we can, uh, I can ask about uh, what is an application of the feature, uh, which uh, will be the one, tell me one feature that you would like to see in application. Not in the feature, I mean in two years, just in the next month. So what will be, for example, anyone? Come on, another cup of coffee. <laughs> the home by voice. By voice, okay. That's a good one, of course. That's new interfaces, like interfacing with, uh, instead of typing, with, by a voice, yeah. natural language. Commands by neural energy. <laughs> that will be awesome. <laughs> no, but it's coming as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Also following, well, just also with uh, eyes and perception. It's, it's coming. When? <laughs> not sorry, not this year. <laughs> but it's coming. Any, any other one? Maybe argumented reality. I mean the reality, mixed reality, holograms, new interfaces, right? It's a, of course, it's a new type of interfaces that we want. Uh, well, we want that already. Uh, it's not something that okay, it's the, the future. This is that is already happening, right? Kind of uh, useful. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, good point. Good point. So, in fact. Uh, Microsoft uh, gives us some clues, okay, about uh, what can be, okay, what will be the main three factors, okay, of when building a new application. So, and the first one is, of course, being uh, building applications that are data-driven, okay. So don't use applications like, okay, what will happen if, <laughs> you know? Uh, so you need to to measure, uh, have your KPIs and all the, the the people, okay, to have the data to decide on the operations that, okay, happening. Uh, you know, with the system, right? Second one is making the applications more intelligent, okay? And with that, I don't mean just being uh, every one of us, I'm not a data scientist, not even a researcher, anything, can be just an integrator, okay? So today, uh, not only Microsoft, also Google, Amazon, uh, we have seen that there are a lot of cognitive services already packaged, okay, as a service, and giving like, uh, making them available then as, sense, okay, like voice, like vision, okay, so things that you can add to your application to make your application more intelligent or at least appear more intelligent, right? And of course, that uh, a lot of uh, sense uh, when talking about prediction, okay? So because of uh, artificial, artificial intelligence, uh, today is not about, uh, you know, a yes or no science, it's just about probability and, uh, you know, uh, percentages of, uh, of uh, intentions. And of course, when talking about that, it's new experiences like voice, like holograms, like, you know, uh, how was that? Uh, with sensors on, <laughs> on, the, on, the, on, the, on the brain. So it's like uh, just trying to, to uh, you know, to, to keep out the, also the, you know, the users outside from, you know, from the desktop, because at the end, in the edge, that is, uh, if you saw before, in IoT and the edge, is where the new computing era is going to happen. Okay, it's not just in front of your desktop. It's not in front of your, of your mobile. It's just when walking in the street, when entering the, the door, when just asking for the food, when ordering something, you know, in the Starbucks. Well, let's uh, do some <laughs> some propaganda there. So it's it's like that. So that those are the new experiences that we are uh, and that, that we are we need to be ready for. Okay. So let's then uh, put some examples. So this, is a, this was a project about the data driven, okay? Uh, this was uh, for the local bus company in the, in the Canary Islands. I am from the Canary Islands, uh, from Tarif. And uh, they have an open API telling in real time where each bus, you know, in the island, where it is, okay? So of course, then we can know the punctuality, okay? When, uh, uh, when uh, I mean, if this uh, bus must, uh, must, um, has to be in this stop at this time, then we can calculate, okay, what, uh, how, uh, how the punctuality is uh, off, right? Those, 
is behind, right? So we left this, for example, in two months, okay? Running that API. And the second thing is that, for example, we went and checked to, to Twitter, okay? And start checking for a, uh, checking for bus, for station, uh, for the name of the company, things like that. And uh, of course, passing that via uh, in, a, in a one of those services that are currently services that allows you to, to calculate the sentiment score of the of the tweet. Okay, so it's positive or negative. And if you uh, the, the the tweets are just uh, geolocated and with a, a stop buses, we can correlate, for example, if the people was hungry or not, depending on the eventuality of the buses. So, with that mean, I mean that <coughs> there are a lot of sources already out there, right? So we, uh, there are big data there, big data sources, like uh, social networks, for example, or just open uh, APIs, government APIs, <coughs> that are ready just to consume and to integrate in your applications, right? So say that, uh, for example, anyone here is uh, using uh, application insights? Nobody? OK, one? <laughs> OK, I will show you. Uh, this in a second. <laughs> of course, one, uh, if you are, uh, for example, uh, uh, in the end, when you see in, uh, a source of data, can be, for example, Google Analytics. Google Analytics, who is using Google Analytics here in the website? Yeah, mostly everyone, right? So, application insight is more or less the same, but allows you to add more telemetry, okay, and all the layers of your application. And also, uh, allows you to uh, give you some, for example, uh, machine learning utilities that comes out of the box. For example, I remember that I, I made uh, two, two years ago a session uh, about this, just this, uh, this service. And we were re uh, receiving an attack. Uh, well, I was notified by the system, by application uh, insights that we were receiving an attack from, I don't remember from where, from China or somewhere, because, and took me the pattern of what, what, what were the IP addresses, what were the, you know, the things. So, but this is not only, okay, that all those application insights. Uh, application insights, let me show you an interactive uh, demo that is here. So can I show you, for example, uh, of course, uh, okay, users that are running uh, the, from where they are coming, okay. Uh, okay, then the other query, for example, would be <coughs> the performance of the site. Let me choose here, then run. If you can see the, the query, this is like, uh, IQL is like a, it's sometimes like SQL, uh, SQL uh, query, but this is, is for application insights. And the, the thing is that here you can push petabytes of data, you know, of, of site, you know, your uh, relational database that is a SQL server that's uh, in uh, a SQL server. You can send this data, 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 and then analyze, okay, and see, for example, a, what happened here. Uh, and this can, can give you, uh, let me try if I click, double click here. Uh, okay, it's analyzing the data and then looks for patterns, okay? So when something happened, okay, it's okay. Uh, from all those requests that happened in that point, all the requests came, were coming from uh, this city, from this location, from this IP address. So it's like, uh, that is what uh, do uh, application insights does. It's like trying to find patterns, okay, in the uh, in uh, in all the data. And of course, there is one thing that probably not so many people know. That is that you can uh, have custom dimensions, custom events, and custom dimensions. So you can use that for building your own and um, things. For example, hey, somebody order uh, something on the store. Uh, it's like the events in Google uh, in. Google Analytics, okay, it's just almost the same, okay? So the thing is that you can uh, then uh, send here, for example, and see, uh, let me show you here an example, uh, usage, uh, this here, okay? So here we can see, uh, well, a query of what are the, the most, I mean, the, the events in the latest, uh, I'm not sure it was uh, 48 hours or something like that. So just showing, okay, create new ticket button, ticket reference, so, it's like, okay, uh, we can have millions and millions okay, of requests and then start in some, in some place uh, managing the, the, the performance it's at, the same, at the same point, the, the analytics, at the same point, the events. So how I can integrate this into DNN? Okay, happy. Uh, this uh, 
application inside small for the platform, okay? It's open source, it's on GitHub. Um, with just some instructions here, you can just uh, install it and just uh, you create the resource on Azure, okay? Just you just put the instrumentation key here and it's like a yeah, Google Analytics, okay? It starts sending you know all the information to you know to, to there. So that's uh, that's all. You can turn on and turn off any, uh, at some point here. So here is the, the uh, like the say and the thing that you can see on on uh, on Azure as well. You can, for example, click on search and search, for example, for custom events. Okay, that is the the one that I uh, showed you before. This is an example, and for example, I can go here and check, including the detail of these custom events. And this was uh, probably when I was, uh, it's an event uh, of uh, calculating sentiment score uh, that I did uh, with a channel Cortana. I will show you in, a, in a some minutes from where it's coming. And okay, this was the, test, the text. I love the hotel, it's awesome. The swimming pool is very clear, well, should be clean. Okay, and a score between seven and one that is 98% that is, that is true, okay? So you can see that I can start sending my own custom events, my own custom data, and just to start using that as big data store, okay? Something that you can store using with application inside. Of course, I have this here. How can I integrate this into DNN? Well, uh, this is another site, DNN site. Uh, this is some uh, project that is, uh, I don't remember, just Ibiza, no. Uh, I can't find the, the project later because also it's open source, okay? To integrate application insights dashboards, okay, into, uh, well, into a website, okay, into HTML. So you can build this type of dashboards, for example, these ones, and you can see here, uh, if I delete the, the code behind, I can send, show you, for example, uh, the queries that I showed before, just for each type, you know, just for each piece of the dashboard. With that, more or less, the big data thing, well, there is something that is uh, non sql that supports petabyte of data. We can start sending data there, uh, there starting from free, of course. And uh, I can then also uh, use that from the DNN platform, and including I can show all of that from the platform itself. So more or less, uh, looks good. OK, so let's continue. So this is the, uh, I wanted to show the, uh, what, that about the possibility of building the the the, the data uh, data driven thing. Okay, so uh, if we go a little bit farther now with uh, with artificial intelligence. So as I said before, I'm not well. Is there here any researcher or any uh, scientist, data scientist here? No. Okay, I'm not <laughs> as well. So. Uh, there are some services that are like what they say before, are like the vision, like the speech, like the voice of your applications that you can start using just today. Okay? So uh, Amazon has its own ones, in, more or less in parity with uh, Microsoft. I, th I, can't have, I think that uh, I'm not uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft doesn't pay me anything, so I have, but I have to say that the Microsoft has, uh, is, I think, in the cognitive services area. Uh, I think that is going uh, faster than Amazon. Amazon is, is that has been, uh, you know, in the virtual machine and the uh, uh, infrastructure as a service uh, thing has been uh, bigger and is still bigger than, than Microsoft. But in the platform and of course in this type of services, Microsoft uh, has a more uh, advantage. I think that is because uh, they started here with a uh, Microsoft Research Labs. This is, a, this is the, the, the processor of the um, cognitive services. They started with a uh, uh, the translator, uh, Microsoft translator that's from 20 uh, years ago, 25 years ago, I think. So, uh, so they started to, from the Microsoft Research uh, Labs, all the micro, uh, Microsoft Cognitive Services uh, arise. So uh, if you want, uh, <laughs> so let's see also how we can use them from, from the end, right? <laughs> so uh, if you want to start just testing, any one of you are using this? Nobody? Quantity services? Okay. I've used the, the, the knowledge one. The knowledge? Yeah, I use the API. Oh, that is an interesting one. Yeah. That is a, there was some ones the, in the knowledge area, there are some ones like, for example, for recommendations. It's like the, the thing that if you have to, to build a store uh, just to recommend, oh, if the user just bought this, would we'll probably recommend this and this and this one. Okay, so just to build this type of models, you can use it that for, for, for that. 
So to uh, if I go to uh, an actual.com, so <clears throat> let, me say, uh, let me put this in English, sorry. So in the products area, there's uh, in AI and machine learning, there are some uh, here, the one that is cognitive services. So from here you can see, okay, in the same uh, grouping, of, in the same categories, okay, the ones that I told you before. And for example, uh, you can see, for example, in vision, okay. In vision, uh, there are then sub uh, services. So there are around 30 something or 40 uh, different services. And for example, uh, services like uh, face recognition, so that is something that, for example, Huber is doing to, using today in their application just to log in. It's like the the ones that comes now with uh, Apple, uh, Face ID in uh, in Apple, uh, right? The, in the the new iPod. So you can build your application just to log in uh, with uh, with that type of uh, of technology, right? Or for example, just recognize whatever is inside uh, a picture. Or I think that is better to show you some demos. <laughs> I have some cool demos here. Excuse me, are yep. there services that you like, do you send some data to their API and they give response or is it more Yeah, like REST APIs. APIs. All of them okay. are REST APIs. You know, you, for example, in the case of Fission, for example, uh, you send uh, an image and the returns is JSON, okay, that returns you whatever is seen inside the picture with, with which proba uh, probability, okay, with a percentage, okay, for example, uh, okay, I'm seeing um, you know a man with a telephone in her hand. Okay, with a 80% of probability or 82%. So then you can decide if that is sufficient for you to to trust and to take some actions with the results. Of course, if if uh, the, uh, the percentage is not uh, so good, then you can also build your own uh, custom services. Okay, uh, for example, custom vision or things like that, and train and train the service. Just to see, for, uh, well, I, I think that I'm going to show you some examples about, uh, just about that uh, here. So, uh, let us start, for example, with uh, uh, analytics, with text, text analytics. So, imagine, for example, uh, we have a DNN, we have a news, typical uh, uh, RSS uh, sources with news, or, for example, a blog, okay, uh, where we, we would like to, to check the, the sentiment, okay, or the feeling of each blog post, right, or the comments of the, those blog posts. So, let me put you here an example. Let me put uh, Tarife, and uh, let's uh, uh, search, for example, the, the news that are uh, currently talking about Tarife in the in the big news. So we can see here, okay, uh, that are um, we are analyzing uh, the sentiment score of each, uh, okay, of each uh, news. For example, uh, this is a uh, Remember again that this is between zero and one. Okay, it's zero percent and one hundred percent, and we can see okay about the the thing that uh, okay good ones, good ones, and finally we can uh, go to the end and see what are the the worst news that are talking about tariff or at least the, the the most negative ones. Okay, so and that for example is interesting for governments. Okay, because just uh, if you th uh, see this way. Um, I mean, at least for example in the Canary Islands that we live from tourists, you know, <laughs> we need to know uh, um, normally people, okay, the, the politicians check the news in Spanish that are, the feeling are really different from English ones or from the ones that are talking about Tarife on French or Portuguese. So this type of thing can give you, okay, automatically in an automatic way, okay, what is the feeling of, for example, what, uh, what people is talking about, you know, your place or whatever source. And this is some. Uh, I mean, uh, this is like uh, I'm going to give you some some cool ideas, okay? okay that we can we could build uh, into the platform. Uh, let me show you, for example, uh, the this one. Okay, this is just to also it's using the, the the vision API, and I'm going to 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 select a target uh, folder with images. Okay, and with the service, it's just tagging and searching what uh, you know, talking to the service and sending. Checking what is inside each each uh, picture, and if you can see here, okay, is detecting all these faces. For example, if I click here, I can just filter the images that uh, that person appears, okay, and that is done automatically, okay. But I haven't trained hey, this guy is this this guy or anything. So, for example, emotions, okay, show me uh, pictures where people is happy, okay, or just okay, uh, show me people uh, from group pictures. Or where is an auditorium, or where is a I know a conference room, 
you know these are just auto tagging okay it's, uh, sending the, the you know to that to that uh, quantity services also to, to auto tag for example images right uh, more demos let me show some cool demos uh, as I told you before there was some uh, I mean I can train uh, using itself using the normal uh, vision service I can use my own custom vision service and this is uh, an example I have uh, have trained here uh, the system to differentiate between Pepsi and Coca-Cola okay so if I suppose uh, let me see where is the okay here it is I think so if, for example if I uh, take a picture or show something about for example a coke it says okay it's a coke 100 percent it's pretty sure that that's a coke because there's a, a backend where you train of each picture okay uh, what thing is uh, is that thing okay and you just uh, blew out for example here I blew out about 50 pictures more or less of cokes and uh, 50 pictures of Pepsi and then it, it can differentiate between each one magically right uh, for example if <laughs> And this is another example. If I go here and select, for example, a bottle of uh, water uh, that is from the Alta, that is from the Canary Islands. Uh, let me see. Okay, it says it's uh, Fuente Alta. It's, uh, it's the water. Okay, and uh, well, Coke. And this is what I told you about the probability. Okay, so you have to, of course, I, I think that with this data, I could trust that. Okay, it's, it's a bottle of water, Sorry. and take some action. Okay, so let me show you some more interesting ones. Uh, and talking more about the, the vision, uh, vision uh, APIs. So this is another one. So, okay. And as you can see here, uh, 48, come on. I'm not, I don't have 48. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, this is the, the first API that um, you know, detects okay, all the, the points uh, in, your, in your face. And you can also, using Face ID, you can train also to, see, hey, to say, hey, this guy is David Rodriguez. Okay? So, and it's, still, and it's uh, with a trust ship of 81%, and giving, uh, also gives you more, more things, like it's a man okay, with this age, uh, it's happy or not happy. Let me show you for uh, another example here. Uh, this one. Yeah. This is more or less the same. Okay, but it's saying, okay, it's happy, <laughs> right? So, but if, for example, if I put another phrase, let's see. Okay, it's uh, okay, Sanger neutral. So. We can start thinking the type of things, okay? <laughs> if uh, if I uh, we can uh, start thinking on things that we could do, for example, with this type of data. Imagine uh, we have a more kiosk, or just perhaps you know uh, uh, an ad in a you know in a mall, or just a web page, right? So if I pass here, imagine that I pass in front of the of the you know of the mall of the kiosk. And just okay, detects. In fact, it's detecting me. Okay, just it's a recommendation for me, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's interesting. Is uh, okay, it's detecting uh, 80, uh, 84. So this is a, you know, it's a, it's a website. Okay, I could I could go and just buy, right? Uh, come, 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 come here in one second. <laughs> Let's try another experiment. I am uh. forty-three. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Okay, so let's see what uh, okay what recommends. Okay, of course. <laughs> okay, you like it? Okay, so we can go to uh, for for dinner. So okay, so and in fact, this is another. Uh, uh, we could also combine all this stuff with also listening what the people is saying and pass that with a sentiment analysis and saying oh. He likes or not like what is seen. In fact, uh, I have a friend that uh, used the. It's, it's, uh, as you can see, well, he's trying to uh, you know to uh, to check whatever I'm talking about. So and that is passing also now to, to through sentimental analysis. Okay. So and in fact, we could also see, okay, if the emotion response is also positive or negative. Okay, depending on if I'm happy or not, right? So you can see that in real time. <laughs> Oops. Okay. That, that also happened, right? <laughs> so, um, more interesting things. So, imagine that 
making this um, more and more complex, okay? So this is like, uh, okay, continually in real time, is giving you insights. You put this into cameras, for example, here in the, uh, for example, with all the people working, you could get an average of people that is, uh, you know, um, by sex, by, by, uh, by age, but demographics are happy or not. Okay. Come on. Okay. No. Okay. No, it's happy. Okay. So as you can see, so you can get, at the end of, so you can start sending all this data, boom, 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 boom. Again, what we talked before, okay, as events or whatever, and just build, you know, a story, and get then those that were, okay, and put and present that on, on on there. So just for fun, I'm going just to, and this is a, I think that there's one I'm going to, no, this is not. Uh, this is a demo. Imagine a a car, not at the future. That can be just the the car of uh, of today, and this is hung. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let me open again. In a uh, kiosk. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, this. Uh, oh, wait a second. This is a new one. Oh, kiosk. Let me open this one. Okay. So, uh, this demo. Imagine. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, nice working. So, imagine uh, I'm in a car, okay? A car with a, in the desktop has a, a camera. It's, it's checking. Oh, come on! So, yeah, for some reason, is uh, I think that is the. Uh, let me close this, please, and open again. Okay, let me try to do it right. So, for example, can check if I'm not attending to the to road and the, in the first thing here, and uh, then uh, just throw an alarm or something. Or, for example, imagine that I'm, I'm going to sleep. Oh, come on, it's not, it's not going to to work with this. this part. Anyway, so can check my mouth aperture. Or for example, if I close the door, uh, for some reason it's failing and, and what's the, the most funny part of, the, of this one was that, of course, can check if I have uh, distractions. Okay, for example, I'm talking in the, you know, with a phone, you know, or just, for example, I have also trained this to uh, if I, for example, eat bananas, eat platanos, right? In the, as you can see here, in the instructions, okay, you say, hey, you are eating a, a banana, okay? And it's, so you can train for this type of, you know, different things, okay? And just because uh, this is, uh, the, uh, the algorithm is just checking, hey, I see a man taking, uh, taking a banana, okay? So it's just, uh, you just check banana and that's, uh, that's the thing. So, okay, so that's funny, okay? How can I start with that? So. I'm not sure if you, uh, last year, if you know, but last year in May or some, uh, something like that, I didn't, we did an internal hackathon of how to build this type of things with uh, liquid content. So the result of that um, was in this website, Build with uh, DNN. Any of you knew about this? Okay. So uh, these are um, typical things that you can use, uh, you can explore what's possible to do with the liquid content. When they say liquid content could be what other things in, uh, you know, uh, or extrapolate with a platform as well. So well, there are some, some here from also Joe, me and uh, internal guys in the, in the team. And for example, here is this one that is uh, from Francesco. Uh, did you ever show this, uh, this website, uh, Ash? Some people know it, not a lot of people, yeah. Anyone knew about this site? No hands? One? Okay, interesting. So, we have <laughs> failing communication. <laughs> yeah, I think it's brought this up. So, yeah, so here for an example, right? So, every single uh, result of this hackathon has been published, it's our open source in GitHub, okay? With all the source code, with all the explanation. And it ha each one solution has its own, its own uh, blog post. So, for example, uh, you can go here and go finally to, to GitHub, okay? And see uh, an example. In this case, for example, is just uh, integrating. I think that this uh, here is the diagram. Okay, uh, just what they said before is uh, okay. Upload an image. Okay, to to uh, to evoke. So then, uh, when that happens, okay, there is a notification. So that fires an actual fraction that calls, you know, a content services just to check what is inside, and at the end, just put uh, update the content of the image. So then, could show some uh, things like okay. Uh, like this thing, okay? So it's like, okay, a man riding a horse in the field with these uh, tags. So 
it's like a way, okay, of uh, putting all this technology together, you know, platform, evoke, uh, and quality services all together, right? Okay, so let me just check the time. Okay, I'm fine. So, okay. So, okay, we have talked about uh, probably big data, uh, well, data, uh, data-driven decisions, how to, how to integrate uh, AI in our applications, uh, in our new models that we, uh, we're building. Let's talk finally about uh, new experiences, okay? New uh, UIs, new, uh, talking about voice, about uh, holograms, all things like that. Of course, that is something that people is, is trying to, uh, oh, give me a second, is trying to, to figure out. So, for example, and one uh, one of the uh, the waves that you have been here before is about chatbots, right? Any any of you has already built a chatbot? Okay, one. Anyone else? Okay, so I suppose that probably most of you will say, "Wow, that is uh, this fashion. No, it's just a moment." So, any of you uh, can give me a reason of uh, how to uh, to to move to or to move, not to move, right? Just to perhaps to complement, okay, your cur the current UIs that we have in uh, you know in websites with chatbot. Any reason? No reasons. I'm going to give you three billion reasons. Do it again. it really. So, in 2015, okay, the number of uh, users that are in the messaging platform, okay, and in overall the, all the messaging platforms surpassed the, one, the number of users that are on social networks, okay? So there are more people, you know, uh, messaging in WhatsApp, in mes Messenger, Skype, all these, uh, this guy, uh, all these guys that are here, there are more that people spending their time in Facebook, uh, you know, Twitter, and et cetera. And of course, uh, Facebook know it, Microsoft know it, uh, Google uh, know that, uh, Amazon know that, so everyone is just pushing the forts in that, and that's because uh, also because if you think uh, on the on the chatbots, the, uh, the and let's change the, the name. Let's not say chatbots. Let's talk about conversational UI. Okay, it's not about just uh, creating a chat or chatbot. It's just allowing to your applications, you know, to converse with humans. Okay, or we have seen before also also that between also other other bots versus bots and say hey why don't you talk with API so uh, anyway so <coughs> so the thing is that there are a lot of people there and probably a lot of you know thing, uh, examples like this well so this is in Spanish but I will translate but this is a, a real use case uh, in well I I will uh, talk <coughs> that is a uh, <coughs> sorry uh, a beer company there in uh, in in Tenerife that uh, is a small, really small uh, brew uh, that brews about. They started with uh, one thousand liters per weekend, okay, brewing that. But they are growing. They are now brewing about. Uh, they told me three thousand liters per weekend. So, uh, and they they have a web page, okay, but they don't have uh, a place to order, okay. So. They usually uh, attend all their requests via, you know, chat. Via, for example, in this case, via chat, uh, Facebook. And this is uh, okay. Hey, uh, all, um, all the, the beers. Uh, well, <laughs> I take all the beers. I want uh, to do another order. I say, okay, David, no problem. When do you want to this uh, after uh, this afternoon? I could be after seven or tomorrow after twelve. Okay, tomorrow after after twelve. And the, uh, they, uh, the day after, hey David, I'm here, uh, I'm going just to, to, uh, to bring you the beer. This looks like quite normal, right, these days. So a lot of people doing business just directly through this way, right? But what happens if they want to, to scale their business, okay? If these guys, and they are having a lot of success, so they are serving in a lot of, uh, you know, bars and, there, and pubs, so how they can manage that growth? Without probably losing, you know, this type of interface that people uh, people mostly don't know which, which pay they have. Okay, so and it's and because of that they say that it's complementary. It's not replacing. It's just complementary. Okay. So uh, <coughs> and if you think more about about this type of thing, so if you uh, well, I don't think that this uh, looks the title looks well, but 
if we compare what happened with the websites in the uh, two, uh, 96 until uh, 2001, that is the, the, the green, the green line, okay? That was what happened, okay? Was uh, when uh, Web 2.0 or when services started to, to arrive to the websites, when we, the, really the website started to, to, to go up, right? So, and this is the, the projected growth with the, with the bots is this, this one currently, okay? It's not, of course, it's not, uh, we're currently, uh, where, uh, sorry, no, here. We're currently here, okay, in uh, 2018. So, and this is by, yeah, 2020 is when this, the, the, ma the maturity of, uh, you know, of the AI, the, the voice, and you, a lot of you probably has been, uh, saw the, the example of uh, Google, you're right, uh, the last, uh, some weeks back, uh, talking, uh, uh, voice calling, uh, you know, and making appointment uh, to a restaurant. That was, uh, it was incredible because the, 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 the bot looks more human than the, the, the one that was answering, right? So, and this, this is what is coming, okay? It's just adding conversational UI to your applications. It's not fashion, it's not something, it's something that is, of course, is coming. So, okay, so if I have that, uh, how can I start? Uh, let's talk about another things to make this easier. Microsoft has a, in Azure, has a Azure bot service that allows you to create this type of conversational UIs very easily, okay? Uh, it works in a, like in a serverless mode, so you don't have to manage servers, any, any of that. So you can start from, uh, from, the, from the portal itself and start uh, creating the, the, the bot. A bot is just uh, a web API, okay? It's an endpoint with an API-message controller, okay? Well, in fact, I think that I have uh, just to, yeah, yeah have one here. So it's like something like that, okay? You can have, a, it's, this is a, a web API uh, project, okay? That needs just uh, one, this message controller, just to, to answer, okay? All the requests to, uh, to, the, uh, to the service, okay? To, to this endpoint and has, uh, you know, here is when, where we start managing all the, each, you know, each message that, that arrives. So, uh, just to show you some examples, uh, in the same, uh, <coughs> in the same project, in the same place here, uh, where is this? Let me go back. In the build within end, uh, that was one of uh, my internal project. <laughs> That it was to uh, to integrate uh, um, the Azure bot service with uh, Evoke, okay, and with Skype and Messenger. So uh, the idea at the end is something like that, like that was to to use um, all the channels that uh, bot service supports that are Facebook Messenger, Skype, uh, Cortana, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp. Not yet, okay, it's not supported yet, but Slack, Teams, okay, a lot of channels, and that uh, sends. To, uh, to that API that at here at the end is uh, API controller, and then that talks with the uh, book content, and then you know start doing things. What is this? So well, in the in the example that you can follow uh, here is all the code, or you know step by step. Uh, well, here is the uh, it's like a recipes bot. Okay, let me show you. Uh, I think that this should be up, still up, right? Uh, Ash. Yes, so this is a DNN website, okay? Uh, typically with a, well, uh, with a, it's a liquid content uh, side with a evoke content side with uh, recipes, okay? And, okay, so this is a, with a visualizer showing, you know, the, the content, the liquid content items. So of course I can show this here and say, uh, okay, hi. <coughs> and so, okay, welcome. So it says, okay. Let me put this bit bigger. So what you can do, okay, upload ingredients, okay, uh, type ingredients. Uh, okay, says, okay, what do you have? Well, I have, uh, I have lemon. <coughs> so, okay, what type of uh, recipe you, you want to, to cook? Okay, so let me, what, all, for example, and, okay, so those are the ingredients, uh, yeah, okay. And finally, uh, okay, give me a second, now it's, filtering or checking what recipes, okay, have with those ingredients, okay? So, for example, I have here uh, hummus, okay? So imagine this uh, this thing, okay, uh, not here, 
uh, that is fine, this UI. But this is just the beginning of what could come later. For example, uh, I could say, hey Alexa or hey Cortana. Oh, sorry. Should I? Not, not yet. <laughs> so I uh, can, uh, in a kitchen, okay, say, hey, uh, I want to, uh, I mean, uh, to, to do something to, for today. Hey, what in ingredients do you have? Oh, send me a picture with your phone of the, of the ingredients, okay? Or just take a picture of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, here it is, all right? Uh, come on. So you can upload a picture of the ingredients that you have in your fridge, okay? So with custom vision, I could train, okay, uh, what is a coke, what is a, uh, something, what is a banana, what is something, and with, with training, I could just take a picture and boom. Okay, I have, you can do this and this and this and this, okay? This new type of, okay, of conversational UI, so, and chatbots are just the conversation, okay? It's just to make that easier. So uh, let me show you another example. Um, I think that I can show this this one, hotelekia.com. So this is uh, an AI for uh, built, and this is like a Frankenstein. It's just to show you also uh, different, uh, things that you can do with uh, DNN and, and this type of thing. It's a smart agent, it's like an inter uh, artificial intelligence for, um, for hotels, okay? For hoteliers where you can, for example, uh, book a room, but also if you are in the, you know, in the, in the hotel, you can ask, for example, for, uh, for new towers or, hey, what is happening today, in the, what activities are, or what is, uh, can I um, you know, uh, get something for, at the room for, for eating or something? So uh, at the end, this is like well, this is a, it's built on, on on DNN as well. This site and the bot runs as it's running with Azure bot service. Uh, currently, is in Telegram, Skype, and, and Messenger, and and this is interesting because in the demo, it's like uh, if I click here, it's like normally uh, including a, a, a hotel that is a it's a demo, but normally the, the hotel doesn't have a DNN website. Okay, so and. Um, I would love to replace all the websites and build them all of them with DNN and get a lot of money, right? But that is not normally what happens, right? So, but then you can start integrating, you know, your conversational UI with existing websites, for example. And this is an example. So this is a, an example of a website that is uh, built in, in PrestaShop. So as you can see here is uh, index.php. Uh, in fact, it's uh, hosted in, uh, uh, in Docker, okay? In a container, uh, I can f also, for example, well, uh, shows you me. Okay, welcome. Just uh, you know, things I can do. Login. Okay, here is where you book the room. Okay, in the demo, you can go to and see the backend here. I will see in a second. And here is the the chatbot. Okay, the conversational UI. Okay, that's fine. So let me uh, take a look a second to the to the backend. Okay, so uh, this is the backend. I can see this is a uh, uh, as I told you before, it's a PrestaShop website. That's fine. So, uh, but I have this here, okay? Uh, that is the uh, what I told you before. It's like uh, uh, the, the the conversational UI embedded in the in the in the in the website. Let me show you, for example. Okay, let me try to, for example, book a room. You can see that there, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, which hotel? As you can see, it's the same thing that I have be, uh, behind. Okay, just the uh, these are the rooms here that are available. I'm going just to do the same thing, but it's, uh, but from the from the UI here. Okay, when you want to check in, when do you want to check out? Uh, when okay, these are the dates. Three nights, yeah, that's fine. Two adults, uh, no childs. Yeah, that's uh, some fun. And uh, how many rooms? Okay, one one room. And the accommodation, bed and breakfast. And now shows me just the the, the rooms available. Okay, for uh, for these dates. And it's just uh, I mean. Oh, if you see there, are just the same things that are, you know, uh, it's just using the same data, okay, but with a different UI, <coughs> right? So, uh, okay, let me choose haha, the super one, luxury ones. Let me, uh, for example, choose a luxury one, okay, yes. Uh, okay, email address, dbj, and uh, Okay, I'm not registered, like I can do it in a second. Uh, first name, David. Uh, Rodriguez. Uh, okay, register. So with that, I suppose that. Okay. Uh, <coughs> what's this window? This window. Okay. And in fact, as you can see here, I have done something that is. How many? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I did something that is outside the bot. 
okay? But I can also take action, you know? And this is a, a Skype integrated uh, chat, okay? That, as you can see, hey, are you that, that David Rodriguez? So I did that in another place and also can communicate uh, with the bot uh, directly, okay? I said yes, okay, and finally, okay, and this is a demo, I'm not going to pay, so, but anyway. So, uh, so this is fine, so this is good, okay? So how can also integrate this into my, this type of uh, bots into my uh, DNA platform? So I'm happy today to show, to show you today, a new uh, model, uh, open source model, that is here in this location, uh, IntelliGAT DNA and web chat, okay? That allows you to integrate, okay, uh, the web chat, this type of web chat for Facebook, Skype, and uh, web chat, okay, the, the normal web chat that we saw before, into your DNA platform uh, or evoke um, applications, right? So let me show you an example of that. So if I go here, um, uh, this is a, a local website running on, on platform. And as you can see here, uh, that should show, okay. As you can see here on the right, it's just starting to show the, uh, the chat. And this is not the, the Skype one, this is the Facebook one, okay? I've also integrated this conversation into Facebook. So if I click here, for example, chat, you will see that the same demo, okay? Uh, let me start here. And it's integrated with my website, okay? Uh, come on, okay. So the same same UI, okay? So I can, let me show you the, a bit the, how you set up this. Come on. I think that this on there, let me click on edit. <coughs> and uh, here in settings, Okay, in watch chat mode settings, I have, uh, well, we have uh, Facebook or Skype, okay? So, or web chat, uh, different, and he from here, we can also customize every th single, uh, I mean, setting of the, you know, CSS or whatever uh, option here. So, for example, if I go here and change uh, to Skype, for example, uh, those are different, uh, you know, different uh, things to, to show here. And so, in fact, the button is here, and that will open, you know, instead of the, the Facebook one, you will see that this is the, the Skype one, or uh, you can also go here and settings and use the web chat. This the, uses the direct line, so you can fully customize this, this is not, and it's not passing through uh, Facebook or Skype, so you can use it that to go directly, okay? So that probably is, is more interested, uh, you're more interested in this, in this type of thing. Uh, and there are two, two ways that, uh, okay, Google, so that is appearing from, you know, from the right, or just embed the web chat and appear, uh, you know, in the, just in the page, okay? Uh, like this experience, okay, so here, you can see that uh, you can embed the, the web chat here. So, there are different ways of embedding uh, this, uh, so this in the, into DNA. So, but let me, that last but not least, uh, so let me check one thing uh, here. Yeah. So uh, I talk about uh, showing uh, this into the NN conversation, but what happens with voice? Okay, that was one of the things that we talked before. Okay, so hey Cortana, are you there? <laughs> so let me let me check one second. Hey, hey Cortana. Ask my hotel to send feedback. <coughs> oh. Is there anything else I can help? Okay. <laughs> Demo effect. Hey Cortana. Hey Cortana. Yeah. Ask my hotel to send feedback. Perfect. Please, tell me what you want to send to our team for review. If you wish to be connected back by other way, share your contact details. The hotel is a shit. I will not repeat. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I have sent your comments to HR manager and will contact you <laughs> Your comments make us better. So if you check that, for your feedback. 
the answer depended on what it said. So wow. it, che it checked the feeling, okay, of the text, okay. If if not, if I will say something that was good, okay, was going to say something that that was not that way. So in fact, if we see here, uh, I think that is in the the backend that I showed you before, in the feedback, okay, it's it's showing, okay, in the website. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a sheet, uh, it's a, it's a <laughs> but okay. But uh, as you can see here, it's okay. It's, it's saying uh, the, the the channel, uh, the sentiment. Well, it's set of five. I think that is because it say it translates sheet. sheet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, I have another one that uh, let's see here. I, I hate the whole thing. I will not repeat. So this is zero. Okay, so. So it's, it's like, okay, you can pass this type of feedback, for example, okay, with that, uh, with that uh, thing. And uh, going last, uh, last thing here, I wanted to bring the, the speaker, the, the Cortana thing, but I could not bring it. So <coughs> it's another example. Hey, Cortana, ask my hotel to open the door. Okay, so this is a new type of UI that you can, I mean, we can start talking and thinking about. Okay, so not only just to be in front, you know, of the, of the web, of the of seat, or, you know, or uh, just in front of your phone, is that, that this is coming, okay? Speakers, uh, imagine that in the States, I think that is the 20% of the homes are have already one of these devices uh, at home. So it's getting no, more normal, normal, normal. Okay, and um, probably more uh, and more uh, devices will be. Uh, I mean, will the comp uh, in the edge computing will uh, you know will come with uh, new uh, things that we can still imagine. So that was just the, the applications of the near future. So of the this year uh, uh, things. So fine if you have any question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you try maybe uh, learning uh, the user experience via mouse click? I think, uh, for example, for the frustrated user, which is <coughs> often they on a cancel button or so, because he wants to run faster or so. Hard. Yeah, currently that, that is something that is coming better and better and better. So, for example, not just uh, not like the thing that we saw, I saw before. Hey, I talk, I cancel. I talk, I cancel. It's, it's over uh, now. It's uh, the conversational thing is getting uh, full duplex. Okay, that is is uh, at the same time that I'm uh, talking, I'm also hearing like a normal, normal like humans. Okay, and that is coming. And the, I think that the, for example, the, the Google demo was really amazing about that. So I will recommend just to, to try to find that. It was in the how was the the event? A Google. Google I. Google I.O., right? So what's really, I mean, amazing uh, about uh, how the things are coming. And this uh, full duplex conversation. And uh, ah, one thing, uh, it, when talking about channels as well, uh, and talking about that full duplex uh, side, so something that is supported in the Skype channel, uh, let me show, I think that is here. This uh, thing that I have, yeah, here is uh, the Azure Pod service, is to enable uh, voice calls, okay. So I could call, okay, to the to the bot in the this case in this case Skype, and allow the bot to, to talk, okay. This is when set up, setting up uh, this channel, the Skype, for example, in calling, okay. So you can uh, enable calling, okay, just by clicking here, and you do some some uh, change some settings, and then your call will start talking, you know, via Skype. What is amazing, in fact. You can also uh, allow the, uh, for example, the user to to share the screen and, st and the bot start checking. Imagine crazy wall uh, support, you know, a support bot that uh, just by seeing, you know, the, the error in the screen or, or the, of the user that is sharing, hey, oh no, I see that. I think that your problem is this and this and this. Okay, and allows you to to, to implement this type of a scenario. And this is not something about the future, future. No, this you can start building these type of things today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other question? Your web chat uh, module is that uh, for which versions of DNN is still working? 
I think that uh, seven, uh, seven and a half. Because it's, I mean, it's just a, a old fashioned mold with a, a, just a settings uh, thing and that, that injects the, the ACX control. So it's uh, the old fashioned way of that thing. That was built by one of the uh, team members at uh, Intelligia, uh, Javi, Javi Gracia. <laughs> Salutations for him. Any other question? No? There's a way uh, with the um, uh, web chat model um, to, to pass current user authentication of DNA to the, to, to the user uh, that interacts with the bot? You mean between the chatbot and the website that, that is injected, you mean? If I, uh, I have already logged in in DNA uh -huh. uh, and the chat, yeah. uh, web chat is... Uh, yeah, that is uh, what is... Uh, what allows the, the web chat that allows to, uh, to interact with the website that is behind, okay? So for example, there is a good example in the, in the Microsoft Build event, and that was uh, also two or three weeks ago, where the, there was a, a bot in, uh, injected in the website, and for example, it was saying, hey, it's, uh, um, what's a Rolex, no, Rolex, no, a, a watch uh, shop, okay, a website, and okay, which type of uh, watch are you looking for? I say, I want this one, and upload the, the picture, and then the website the cut up, it started to filter behind, you know, and interacting with that. With that, that means that you can interact with JavaScript or site, okay, in clean site, you can interact uh, with, uh, you know, with the website. And you can start, you know, changing the website or whatever things, or browse or navigate, you know, to other parts, just by using the, 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 the web chatbot. So, and that is, but it's, that is uh, only provided by the web chat, you know, uh, the direct line uh, way of doing the thing. Okay, so I think that those are the URLs. Those uh, for are there just for uh, for that. If you want to take a picture, but anyway, yes. will will be available on uh, you know on the in the in the recording. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy the the session. Okay.